friends, it's Meredy here, and I am here with our Not Just For Boys page kit called Twinkle Twinkle. And before I tell you how to put this layout together, I'm gonna go over what you will get in your kit. So the first thing that you're gonna get in your kit is the Simple Stories foam stickers. Um, Boho Baby is the line, and they're foam, foam stickers, so they're kind of a little bit dimensional. And there's two pages in there, two pieces in there. I just took them out of the packaging so they, they're easier for you to see like that. They're super cute. And then you're going to get this Minte Tiny Miracle chipboard sticker sheet that's 12 by 12 inches chipboard stickers with tons and tons of bits and pieces on there. And you're going to get a Nouveau Drop. Um, it's called Pumice Stone and it's Nouveau Vintage Drops. So when it dries, it has a matte finish to it. That's what the vintage drops are. It's a matte finish instead of the glossy finish like the other Nouveau Drops are. And then you're gonna get the following papers. This Cardabella by the Sea paper. It has little anchors on the back. But we're gonna be using the front on this layout. Um, Summer Farmhouse, brand new line from Cardabella and it's called Farmhouse Plaid. Boho Baby which is the one of the brand new lines by Simple Stories. And this one's called Dream Big. And it's these little diamonds on the front and Starry Night on the back. Um, Echo Park, it's a girl, green and gold designer solids. So it's gold on one side and green on the other side. You're gonna get one sheet of um, smooth white cardstock and two sheets of American Crafts textured, um, it's light blue color called Rain, and there's two sheets of those. So that is what you're going to get in your kit. And you're also going to have a sheet of full color instructions in there. And on the back of those instructions, you're going to see cutting guides, and it's gonna tell you exactly how you cut all of these papers. So that's the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do before you start making your layout is to cut your papers to the dimensions that are listed on the cutting guide. And I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I have all of my papers cut. And as you may know from watching my previous videos, instead of photos in this video, I'm going to use these to represent our photos. So the very first thing you're going to wanna to do is grab the white sheet of paper out of your kit. And you're actually gonna trim these photos down slightly. Um, they started as the big ones were four by six, the little ones were three by four. I trimmed them down a quarter of an inch off of two sides or an eighth of an inch off all four sides so that they're really three and three quarters inches by five and three quarters inches. This is just so they are easier to mat on one sheet of paper. When we trim them down slightly, they fit nicely on one sheet. If they were true four by sixes, they would fill up this whole size. So you're gonna go ahead and mat, trim the pictures down just a slightly, and then mat them all on this white paper, and I will be right back. Okay, now that we have these all, all the pictures are matted on the white paper, you're going to pull out this scrap of yellow paper, as well as this boho baby paper. It's this pattern. And you're going to mat the two large four by six photos on this green boho baby paper, as well as one of these three by four pictures. And then the other three by four pictures, you're going to mat on this yellow paper. So they're the two, two that go this way and one that goes this way. Okay, and I'm going to do that and be right back. Okay guys, we have all the pictures matted. And the next thing that we're going to do is pull um, both of the pieces of the light blue paper. I'm going to put together this layout kind of in one large, um, one large thing instead of working on one side and then the other side. So you've got both of your blue papers. And I'm going to move the pictures off to the side for just a moment. And then you're going to take this larger strip of the wood grain on this side. And then this paper, okay, this is the one that has the dark yellow on this side and then the light greenish blue on this side. And you're going to flip it upside down because this bright yellow, it really sticks out if you can see it. So we're going to bury it right underneath that wood grain so it's not drawing our attention so much, that bright yellow stripe. And then on the other side of the layout, we're going to use this 
other half of the wood paper. And then this piece that has the dark redder, reddish orange on the side and the light yellow and the light blue. And we're just gonna really barely put it underneath the wood grain. Okay, and then you've got this yellow piece that will go right there and this one that will go over here. And when you do adhere these yellow pieces, you wanna make sure they're the same amount off the from the bottom. So maybe measure an inch from the bottom. And that's where you're gonna to wanna to adhere those. So we're gonna adhere all of this and then we will start adding the pictures. Okay, we've got all the background adhe adhered down now. So now it's time to go ahead and set the pictures where they're going to be. And once you lay the pictures out, you can go ahead and adhere those down too. I'm gonna to scooch this over a little so you can see exactly where the page breaks. So the page breaks just like that. Let's see. What did I do here? Oh, this one. So the three yellow mats should be there, there, and there, and then the three green mats can be there and there. And on my original layout, I trimmed this photo down even a little more so it wasn't yellow on yellow. But if yours is yellow on yellow right there because it, it's that long, um, that's okay. It will look still look fine, but that's why mine looks a little different on this one than on the other page in the example. And so then you just want to adhere these all down. I'm going to actually move everything up just a tad. And this, this part of the layout is fairly simple. Um, the paper layers and the photo layers. And the time consuming part of the layout is gonna be the next step, which is um, adding the little banners. Actually, we're not gonna add the banners next. We're going to add the embellishment clusters next because the banners kind of run in and out of the embellishment clusters. So it will be easier to put the embellishment clusters first and then add the banners after the embellishment clusters are laid down. So the first, um, I am gonna take this down. Now that we have this page all set up just like this, I'm gonna pull this side away and just work on this half. So it's less that you need to try to watch and see while I'm working. So on this half of the layout, we're gonna use some of the chipboard stickers and some of these foam, uh, foam stickers. So we're going to make, the title on mine is Cute Little One but you have lots of words. You could put, I love you, hello little baby, hello little one, hello little cute one, so sweet, sweet little one. Yeah, all kinds of different combinations um, that you can put for your title. But we're gonna put cute little one. I'm kind of gently putting these down because I'm gonna tuck some embellishments underneath the bottom of this one. So don't really stick that word one down too long. And then we're going to put a little, I put a little moon on mine. Oh, we forgot something. You have a little scrap of yellow and we're just gonna trim about a half an inch off and two inches, two and a half inches long. And we're going to adhere that. It just needed a little pop of color, I felt like, right under here. So we'll do that. And then we can place this moon down. And then a couple stars. I put this little blue star right there on the yellow. And a little yellow star up here. And another little yellow star down here. And then we're gonna move, we are still gonna use this heart right here. So we'll leave that page close by, but we're done with this side for now. So 
then my cluster down here, I'm gonna start with this Miracle is Here sticker, chipboard sticker, but I'm kind of gonna end up covering up part of it. I'll show you what I mean. So I put the Miracle is Here down. Now we can push the title down nicely on top of it, nice and firm. And I'm going to use extra adhesive on these because I just like to put extra adhesive on my chipboard. Alrighty, I grabbed my extra adhesive and when I'm adhering chipboard to chipboard, I like to use tacky glue um, or glossy accents, either one. So let's do this. So I didn't want the little hands necessarily, so I covered it up with this little sticker. And then I really loved these little banner pieces. So I kind of overlapped them, stuck them down. I'm gonna add some extra adhesive on these too. And you can use any embellishment or any of these stickers that you want. You don't have to use the ones that I am using. Okay, and then that up there. And then I love this little Hello Baby. So I'm gonna add that. Now, if you want to make your page even a little more sturdy in these areas where the chipboard is overlapping, like for instance, this piece is on top of two more pieces. You can cut a little bit of this trash that's left on the chipboard sheet, like this whole top is just a piece of chipboard. You could cut a little piece and put it underneath in the middle, underneath of this banner, so that it's popped up over here and over here and in the middle. I hope that makes sense. I'll show you what I mean on another, on another little, um, embellishment cluster. And then I want to add Growing Fast. And then I am going to put that heart from the puffy sheet right here to cover up the words that I covered up. And then I'm going to set this off to the side because this is all the those type of embellishments we're doing but we are going to add banners to this mini banners um we're going to swoop a couple mini banners across the top and a, one right here and one over here but we have to make those mini banners this was very time consuming in my original layout because i made little tiny square banner pieces and i made a lot of them so one option is to grab all your scraps. I only used actually a scrap of this paper, a scrap of this paper, a scrap of white, some of my white, and that's all I used for these, and this border strip. And that's all I used for my mini banners, but you can make them out of this paper as well. I just did not. So I'll put those off to the side. And what I did when I was making my little tiny ones is, I'll use this border strip for an example. I basically trimmed the papers down to about a half an inch wide, which is about as wide as this border strip. And then I cut tiny little banner pieces like this. So they're pretty much square, like half inch by half inch. And then I notched the bottoms. So they're little flags like that. And it was very time consuming and I had to do a lot since they're not very wide and there's a lot of banners. So for this video, I'm gonna show a different option. If you wanna do the little banners like mine, that's how you cut them. But for this video, I'm gonna show a different option that's maybe a little quicker and might be a little more appealing. I'm grabbing a one inch circle punch, but you could use a circle punch that's even smaller than an inch. And I'm just gonna cut a bunch of circles I'm just going to do a couple here on camera and the rest I'm going to do off camera, but this is 
how simple this is. Okay, then on my mini banners and like my mini ones that look like this and on these, um, I needed to bring in just a little bit of color because there's that little bit of a maroon color in this layout and I wanted to pop it out. So I used my Aged Mahogany Distress Oxide ink and my blending tool and I just very gently inked the edges of every little banner piece that I'm gonna make. So on this one, after I cut the notch in it, I inked the edges too. And you could do a combination. You could use some little mini banner pieces. You could use some half circles that I'm gonna show you how to do. Um, if you have like a little mini banner or triangle punch, you could do that shape. And um, the banners just looked so cute and they really add a lot to the layout. It looks pretty plain without them. But if you do not wanna spend all of this time, you can completely omit these little banners or not put as many of them, just put a few. And the layout will still look good without them. Okay, let's pretend like I have inked tons and tons of banner pieces. Okay, we'll pretend like I'm, I've got a whole bunch here then. And we're gonna just simply cut them in half. So it's half circles to all of these half circles. See why this is so much easier than these little tiny miniature notched pieces. And this will still be just as cute. Okay, that's enough for now because I'm just showing a little on this video. I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole banner. Okay, so we've got some banner pieces. We've got our layout. And then the first banner is just going to go from here to here. So I'm going to just lay them out first because I don't want to adhere them down until I really know that's exactly where I want them. So I will probably, not on video, but when I'm making this layout, I'm going to lay down all of the banners before I adhere anything. And if they go off the page a little, that's fine. You can just, after you adhere them down, you could just pick up your layout and trim the little pieces that went off. So I'll put one banner swinging up there. I'm gonna put another banner swinging all the way up here. It's gonna go from right there to the corner. And I'm gonna put another banner that swags from about right here up here. And then I'm gonna put another one from this edge to right between the L and the I, just a tiny little one. And I'm gonna put another banner starting right here and it's gonna swag all the way over to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the video camera and add those banners and I will be right back and show you how to finish them off. Okay ladies, let me start by saying doing these half circle punch banners is so much faster than trimming the teeny tiny little ones by hand. So much faster. I would highly suggest using this method. Okay, then we're just gonna trim the edges, like I said, the edges that stick over off these little banner pieces. So there's no little jagged things. And then instead of really stitching on this, I got a thin black pen and I just drew little teeny tiny dashed lines that appear to be stitches, but they're not. And this is how they look. They look super cute like that. Um, as you could tell on this, I did not follow a pattern when I laid down these little mini banner half circle pieces. I just, it's very random. It's not in a pattern. You could do a pattern if you want of the same four colors just repeating over and over, but I did not do a pattern. I just did it randomly. Uh, but I don't think I ever put two of the same color right next to each other. I always at least had a different color next to a different color. I think that makes sense. And then down here, this one's a little harder to draw the dotted dashed lines on 
because these are on top overlapping these chipboards that are on different levels you know they're different heights so you just have to kind of fold it down to do that and let me finish up this last one I will not make you watch me do all these little dashes on the next page with those banners but this went pretty quick okay so now you've got the little dotted lines on your banners I used a really thin gel pen it's just super thin I don't even know how thin it doesn't say Okay, and then the last final finishing touch for this side of the layout is the Nouveau Drops, um, the vintage Nouveau Drops, which, like I said, they dry matte. So they're really cute. And I even put some, just put a couple in a couple of different places. And I'm, you can squeeze a little more out to make them bigger and then a little less so that they go from bigger to smaller. Okay. Oh, one more little piece that I forgot. This one that's just hanging out here. I kind of felt like it was just hanging out and didn't look very finished on the end. So I cut the little bow tie off both ends. If I could do it here. I cut the little bow off the end of this little banner and I hung it right there so it looks like it's the bow tying that end. Okay, this is the end of this page. So we're gonna put this page off to the side and then we're going to work on this page. I am gonna leave all these little things here. I know it's kind of crazy and chaotic but I'm gonna leave them there and we're gonna add the embellishments first. So on this page, I used this, and like I said, I like to adhere these with a little bit of adhesive. Put that one right there, and 100% perfect, I made Sticking out from underneath. I guess I should have probably put this one down first. I'm gonna lift that up. Just wedge, wedge that barely underneath there. Okay. And then you can leave the word our tiny miracle, but my pictures, my baby wasn't a tiny, tiny baby anymore. So I cut the little banner piece off this. I evened up both sides so it looked like these words were centered in here. And I put Bundle of Joy right over the top of it. And then I started the word Bundle of Joy where the word Our Tiny Miracle is. But you could tell it doesn't, it doesn't cover up the whole word Miracle. But we have a little bunny sticker here that covered it up just fine. And then I also put the little lion up here. I feel like these are so cute. The lion, the bunny, and then I put another little heart down here just for fun. Okay, and then down here we're going to start with, I took this one that said Precious Memories and you can leave it like that or flip it upside down. It just depends really if you want the phrases to show or if you don't want the phrases to show and you want to make your own little phrases and embellishments down here. And there's a lot of different phrase uh, words that you can use down at the bottom of that sticker sheet too to cover up if you want to make a different phrase on something. Okay, so I did this. I put that little flag hanging off and then I put a little star and 
And then this little elephant. Now, this is what I mean by when I put a piece of chipboard underneath it. This is all like trash, this part of the chipboard. So I'm gonna cut a little piece and use it almost like dimensional adhesive, kind of. So I'm gonna put it partially underneath that. So now this whole little elephant is sitting on one same layer. I'm gonna add adhesive, of course. But because it's kind of raised up a little when it sits over, overlaps those two. But when I added the little square on the back, now he's sitting on one solid level. And then I'm gonna put, I love this rainbow. I know rainbows are like all the rage right now. And you'll never know, dear, how much I love you. And then let's see, I put a couple little hearts on here too. Put this little heart and this little heart, oops. Okay. Oh yeah, and remember when we cut that little scrap of the yellow paper? Hmm. I might have lost it, which is fine. I have another little scrap of yellow paper. Um, I'm just gonna make it stick out here just to add a little color down, down there. Okay, now we're almost done with this side, but we've gotta add the banners. So this time the banners are gonna go from about right here to right here. So there's gonna be one banner there. There's gonna be another one that swoops from right there down to about right here. Another one that starts at the top and ends right here at the lion, and then it picks back up and ends at where this banner is. So it's right there. There's another one that goes from about here to right here. And another little one that goes from here to the edge of the page. So I am gonna go start working on all of those banners and um, I will be back when I get those all on and I'm going to do the little dotted lines on them too before I come back. So I will see you shortly. Okay, a couple of things I wanna tell you before we can move on. Um, this banner that's ending right here, it actually goes on to the other page to get the other page, set it right next to it, and add one more banner piece to this other page. And I'm gonna tuck it underneath. This is supposed to be real easy. Oh my word, come on. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut this off. In this one. Because it kind of overlapped onto the other page. So we'll stick half of it right there. Well, it's just hard with my nails there. So it goes like that, and then we'll add the little dashed lines on this last little piece. So you're gonna have to finish that one. Um, but let me finish putting the Nouveau drops on this side, and then I will lay both layouts out, out for you to see together. So we'll add some just of the vintage Nouveau drops. I just added a couple right here. And I added a couple up here. And I added one right there. And you can, oh, and then the very, very last thing, just like on the other page where a banner ended up at the bottom of a picture, this banner ends up at the bottom of the picture. So I cut this other little ribbon 
off and put this one so it looks like it's kind of holding it on. Okay, let me get everything off my work surface here and I will lay both sides of the layout out so you can see it. And I'm gonna put still pictures on the end of this video and some close-up shots at the end of this video. So you can refer back to that to see um, how this looks. And, and there's also gonna be pictures of this layout, both this one and my original one with the little flag banner pieces. They're all in the same place, but just so you can see the different, how it looks different. They're on the website on the listing for this page kit, which is called Twinkle Twinkle. And even when the page kit sells out, we'll still leave those pictures up there so you can refer back to them when you're putting your layout together. And then you'll also have, of course, a picture of this layout with this banner on your instructions sheet at the bottom of your instructions sheet so you can refer to that. But I would love to see what you guys make with this layout. Um, you can join our Facebook community group if you're not already a member and share what you do with this layout or with this kit. If you don't even make this layout and you just do your own thing, you can share that there too. Our design team also posts pictures of their unique layouts using this kit on our um, Facebook community group page. It's called Not Just For Boys Community Group. So we would love to have you join us. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye.